your feet like you mean it, because you're going to need a land. Oh, I want okay. you to land right on there. Okay. Boom. Boom. Oh, Boom. Geez, Boom. Okay. So we're going to pop from back, eventually get from back, backward. Okay. And it's just landing back here. Okay. So we can start by getting even to start. Okay. Two, one. Good. Trust. Right into it. And I want you to just land on your feet. Here, down hard. What it feels like to land. Because when I pop you up, it's going to feel exactly the same as that. As you land on your feet, you want to not just land flat on your heels, because that is a lot of pressure. You want to take it through the toes. Just like you're hopping up. Warm up like that. Land. Absorb that. Boom. Land. Boom. And as you're coming through, pushing through the hands too, so that you slow down the descent as, yeah. as you're falling in. So how this can go wrong. Okay. Let's go into the start too. Okay. Okay. And then back down. Okay. Now if you come down like that and you come down like just like stag, that can really hurt you. Oh yeah. It's all about the absorption, right? Even with the absorption and stuff, it's gonna okay. <laughs> So one thing that I'm doing to make sure the rotation turns over when you're into your back fly. So let's start from the back there first. It's, it's very important to your back because I want to get you here and pop you out over here. You can easily pop straight up and right back down can hurt your back big time, right? Because you were, we're already in, in a, a deep back bend, but when we give that little bit more pressure through the back, it deepens it even more. So you've got to engage your core, okay? So I, I'd say the most Dangerous thing is popping right up and landing right on your head this way, right? So let's keep about, let's focus on the techniques, the little things that you can do to prevent that from happening and doing it correctly. The first thing I would do is to tuck your knees in. Stay there, right? So when your knees are in like that, one, it's easier on your back, and two, it helps to rotate your body. Your knees are tucked in already. So the anytime uh, an object is tucked in, it rotates faster, right? So it's nice and tucked. And as I pop her up, she's pushing through the hands here. So she's rotating, she's also pushing into the hands and then she'll pop herself out that way, okay? Um, a common thing is flyers will tuck too much and if you tuck your legs too much, you'll fall right down onto them. So tuck just enough to where you feel like it's not on your back so much, but you're still balancing on my feet there. So you can get tippy toe, Sammy, and we'll give you a pop and land on your feet, okay? So pop. You stay one, two, and then you're just going to rotate this way. Keep pushing. Your main thing is push through them. One, two. Okay. That was all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I don't do a lot of jumping. I need to do yeah. more jumping. <laughs> How was that landing on there? Was that a lot on your knees? No, I mean, my knees are, I mean, yeah. yeah. Right, it's okay. somewhere between my, my tippy toes and my knees. Something's always yeah. going to go a little. So that time it was my feet. So I want you to feel what that feels like. It is like really fun, but really scary, right? Yeah. So um, let's have you a base camp now. Okay. And see what's going on here, okay? Hey, <laughs> Lori. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Leaning back. I want to drop you at a star a few times so you know what it feels like to fall on your feet from this height. Okay, legs over. There it is, and down. So you feel like that. Push through the hands just like you did, and slow down the descent. Okay. Up and start. Two, one. Up. Good. Okay, dropping you back down this way. Push through the arms. Boom. Good. Absorb through the tongues. Okay. Now back. Back there again. Good. And back. Hands. Now we're going to tuck both knees in. So when she tucks in there, her weight wants to pour into me. That's why you gotta keep pushing through your arms. And um, you're basically, you don't have anything but your toes on her back there, okay? And I was in like that because you're gonna push off of it, okay? So as I push you here, the higher that you kick her, the less you'll have to push. Okay. That. And I'll put you here a spot. But when you stay tucked there, Lori, even more, more of a tuck, when I pop you, you'll just naturally rotate this way, okay, Lori? So your job main focus is to one, two, swing your legs over, Lori, and then the secondary thing is to push through your arms, but the most important thing is to swing your legs over. Not top. One, two, up. Okay? Yeah. 
Okay? Yeah. Okay, this one, the timing is really important. If she swings before you kick, she'll start coming over too fast. So, tuck it in. But this time, don't swing. Maybe I misspoke. Just push the wheel. So, one, I'll say one, two, push. Okay? Okay. okay. Tight, one, two, and then push, alright? One, two, push. I think that you kicked her through that can. Yeah. If they kick through that, that'd be nice. Okay. Okay. You should tuck all her weight towards into the elbow. But you can push even more than you did before, okay? And two, push through the hand. Okay. One, two, push. Okay. 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 Okay.